Alright guys, it's time for another RC Weekly. First of all, I am sorry I wasn't able to make an RC Weekly last week. It just, scheduling got a little hectic and I ran out of time way faster than I wanted to. But I do have time this week. Well, not really, but I'm going to make the time. So let's go ahead and talk about a couple of things. First of all, I got a couple of new Patreons on Patreon. So thank you a ton, RC Inc. and Damien Camplet. You guys donated. Thank you. Every little bit does matter and it does make a difference. Next up, I need to go ahead and do the judging for the contest between the Stampede build between RC Customs, RC Bros 2000, and Radio Control 360. I think Father and Son was in on the contest too. But all of them have the RCs done. I think we're just waiting for RC Customs to do his reveal video. And I'm going to be judging them on the build, the reveal video, as well as the quality of the build and, you know, the aesthetic, how it looks. And so far, guys, I have to admit, they look really good. I will have a link to all those channels in the video description. Go check those stampedes out. They were all built and they all look great. Other than that, let me think here for a second. Okay, after thinking for a second, I was going to go ahead and do some run videos this last Sunday and I just couldn't do it because people around the house were throwing parties so the street was completely filled up with cars. So I just didn't have the space to actually make a run video without running into a car because I don't really trust my driving skills, especially with the ones I want to drive. I was going to do one for Demon. Last time I drove Demon, I destroyed his chassis. And I also wanted to do uh, Banshee up there because Banshee needs a run video. And I haven't ran her for a long time. I hope her engine and everything is cleaned out. I usually take care of my nitros like because you need to. Especially with how little I run them. <laughs> but yeah, I just couldn't do any run videos this week. So hopefully next week when I have some days off and there will be no parties and the streets will be clear for me to do a run video. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump to... Channel shoutouts. So, channel shoutouts this week go to Traxxas Boy 9087, Jerry RC, Pyro RC, RC Man, and Felix Gonzalez. Guys, if you want a chance at a channel shoutout, all I have to do is ask for one in the comments below, and if I choose you, I'll give you one. If you want links to all these channels, of course, they're in the video description. Alright guys, it's time to do some Q&A, so let me go ahead and pull up all the comments. Alright, we'll put these in order, and then scroll all the way to the bottom. Alright, so the first question comes from Schwent RC Racing. Would you ever do a YouTube live video? You know what? GeoStealthR1 has been doing them lately. And I've been tempted to actually try that. I'll have to set everything up, but I don't see a reason why I should. It'd be neat to have a live q and I think that'd be pretty cool. Phil Matthias asks, how do you stay focused on making new videos? That's one of those things that I even have to admit I fall out of focus with it at times. Eh, or I come up short on money, because, yeah, or, yeah, scheduling, eh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, it's hard to keep focus. It's one of the things that when you start making a whole bunch of YouTube videos, especially when you start considering it a job, it's pretty hard to keep your priorities straight and keep pumping out content on a regular basis where it stays interesting, fresh, and watchable. I'm really surprised that I haven't lost it yet. So hopefully I won't lose it anytime soon. I mean, it's been, I think, five years now. So I guess I'm doing something right. <laughs> Tiernan Boots asks, what motor is better for the Bandit Sidewinder 3 or a VXL 3A? Jester, ah, oh, Jester, I haven't seen him for a while. Yes, Jester is that Jester. He answers comments. <laughs> he is so cool, I like him. Anyways, Jester says, yeah, we thought about it as such. I can't really do much, but I'll see. I was reading the end of the conversation. Never mind. we'll get back to Jester's original point. Both of the motors, frankly, have far too much power for the Bandit to handle. I've used both and it was insane. The best modification you can do to the Bandit is turn it into a rustler, then use the Sidewinder system because it can handle it. it. Yeah, what I like to call a banter is where you have the A-arms from a rustler on the Bandit. You also have to uh, put on the tires, the wheel hex hubs, the drive shafts, and I think that's it. 
Yeah, that's it. But once you put all that onto the Bandit, you can put any system on and it can take turns beautifully. I miss Nexus being like that. She was awesome to drive. Which motor would I suggest? Either one of them is pretty equal on power for the Bandit. But if you want to be able to have good control, I would say do the banter conversion. <laughs> so let's get this right, because I didn't get it right last time. Bud Nasriel. I did a Q&A for him last time, I totally butchered his name, so sorry for Nasriel. <laughs> so iPodGuy55 says, question. So I went to my local hobby store, and they had a box of old puffed and dead batteries. Ugh. I asked if I could take one, and they said yes. The guy behind me asked if I was going to build a bomb. <laughs> I brought a non-puff 2S Shorty LiPo home and tested the voltage, which was 4.6 volts total. Both cells seem good, and I think it was thrown out due to over voltage. I know it can be done, but what is the best way to revive it? By the way, knew it would have been an $80 battery 90C. I hope this gets red. Hmm, let me see here. How can you revive a LiPo battery? Uh, I know I have overcharged a battery before. Best thing you can do is put your... I should not suggest this. This is what I did, and I will not say you should be doing this, because LiPos can be dangerous, especially when they're fully charged. Uh, the best thing you can do is put it to an ESC that you would preferably not care if it burned but plug in the battery to the ESC and turn the ESC on and just let it drain. <laughs> That's all you have to do. That's what I did. I used a crappy old ESC and I drained a LiPo that was overcharged. And then I just uh, balanced it and it was fine afterwards. But yeah, that, yeah, that's iffy. Felix Gonzalez asks, I have a Traxxas Slash VXL and when I drive it and the motor gets hot, first I know, they get hot, but every time I race my truck stops because it needs to cool down, which I do to make it run cooler. It has too high of gearing. You're gonna have to gear it down. So get a smaller pinion gear or a bigger spur gear. How you have it right now, it sounds like it is set up to go high speeds but have terrible acceleration. But if you're slamming the acceleration all the time, it's gonna strain the motor. If you gear down, you'll have higher acceleration, but not as high as top speed, so it will run cooler. Other than that, yeah, you can go ahead and get a motor heat sink or an ESC fan, get those things, or you can even put holes in the body itself, the RC body, so ventilation can get to the motor. Lewis LPRC says that the name Kruger is taken. Oh, I tried. <laughs> Next question comes from Daryl Patrick. Hey, from Canada. I have a two-wheel drive slash and a wrestler looking for tire suggestions. Okay, so for the slash, I would suggest trenchers. And for the wrestler, I would probably just go with anacondas. They're not the greatest off-road tires. The trenchers are on and off-road easily, but anacondas, I think they just work really well on the wrestler. Suicidal potato. <laughs> Ask, which CVDs do you recommend for the Slash two-wheel drive? Honestly, just get the Slash 4x4 Heavy Duty Traxxas CVDs and they should be good. If you want to go with metal, I actually would suggest you go with the Traxxas High Velocity CVDs. They're pricey, but you're never going to have to worry about them after you get them. The only thing that sucks is that there is rubber parts, or you can say rubber sleeves and they could dry out over time, but there's kits so you can buy, so you can replace those. But yeah, those would be the ones I would suggest. Woden Motorsport says, 18,000 subs? Dude, I was like at 2,001 and a half. Wow. Can I end the five million view video with a burnout from Demon? See if I can smoke some old tires? That would be awesome, that would be awesome. He said that would be awesome. I'm agreeing, that would be awesome. Or, Blow up a lipo. <laughs> you know, I actually might have a lipo just for that reason. By the way, guys, I am not saying you should blow up lipos. <laughs> Cauldron PR says that he would trade his E Revo for Deimos. Gosh, that doesn't seem like an even trade. Unless you're a main demon, because Deimos is my 100 mile per hour wrestler. 
And it has some good modifications on there, but it's not worth the knee Revo. Real Hobby RC says, as you know, Jason, I'm a huge T-Max fan, so I personally think Titan should get some glory. Question further down. As for the question, if you could add five more RCs to your collection, what would they be? Five more RCs to my collection. At this point, I would really like to go ahead and get a helicopter. I have always wanted one. I think it would be really fun to have one. If not, I would love to get a drone. But that would definitely be one, a flying helicopter or drone. Hell yeah. After that, of course, I want the e Revo. I don't know if that still counts. I still really want an E-Max brushless edition. I've always loved that truck. It's the one truck I've wanted for the longest time I still haven't gotten in. I think at this point, it's pretty safe to say that I would love to get an X-Max too. I don't know where I would put it, but I would love to have one. <laughs> Another thing I would like to get is a new Fortec. I was looking at some footage of it and it looks freaking Awesome. I've always wanted a Fortech, the Nitro, but yeah, this new one looks good. And the last one I would honestly would like to get is a Jado or a Jado. Is it Jado? Jado. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. I don't know, but I would like that thing. <laughs> Justin's RC asks, have you ever thought about building an RC that you would just shelf? I have thought about it. I don't know which one I would do it with. Honestly, they're all kind of shelved right now, which makes me sad. I need to play with them more. I actually was having fun with them last week, but... <sighs> but I would definitely like to do, like, a show body with my DH logo. I think that would be really cool. Timothy Ford. Hey, if you're still looking for an airbrush, let me know. Thanks. I am still looking for an airbrush, actually. I was looking around online. I couldn't find one that eh, caught my fancy. Wrestler SV3 says, I have a wrestler with a Sidewinder 3 on my 3S. My gearing is 1686. Not sure if I did that right. 16 is opinion. I want to be a bit safer because it rips right now. What do you recommend for gearing? If you're running 3S with a Sidewinder 3, I would go at least 19 tooth pinion gear and an 82 tooth spur gear. If you want to, you can even push it further than that and do a 21 tooth pinion gear and yeah, keep it at 82 spur gear. But yeah, with that setup, you should be fine. Just make sure you get the spacing proper in between the gears, otherwise they're gonna rip up. Justin Kopp says he has a problem. On my slash two wheel drive, I tighten the spur gear all the way and it's hard to spin. I even loosened it to turn and it still won't spin freely. It never did this. Could anyone help me or can you reply? So I'm guessing you're talking about tightening the spur gear down to the drive gear and the drive gear isn't spinning very well. That means the transmission itself, something's wrong with the gears and something's out of alignment. You're gonna have to take your transmission apart and literally check every one of the gears and see how everything's spinning because everything should spin really loosely. And he also mentions that the motor isn't in the transmission, so yeah, you're gonna have to take it apart. Daner253 RC says, Hey man, I was just curious if you had the nickname Squirrel. Your channel really reminded me of him. Squirrel RC. He is one of the people I used to watch way back when I started getting into RC. Never was my nickname, but he is a cool guy. We got a long one. Customs RC Mods says, Hey Jason, I got a Platinum Edition slash 4x4 the other day. Most of the common issues have been addressed and there are... And here are the current upgrades. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of upgrades. Millennium ESC Fan, Intigy Motor Heat Sink Fan, Fan Splitter, Spectrum DX4C, and SR210RX, Spectrum Glitch Buster, Spectrum S6230 Servo, Dynamite, Aluminum Servo Arm, Reinforced Body, Battery Expansion Kit, High Speed Pinion 2S LiPo. Anyway, my question is, what other inexpensive upgrades should I look into? Also, it would mean a lot if you subscribe to my channel, as I have looked at to you from the very beginning. That's cool. You see, I got my wrestler around the same time you got yours, and I thought it was really cool that we were doing upgrades videos, and I subbed. I haven't really looked back since, and I check your channel often to see what new videos you have put out. Custom RC Mods. A shout-out would be nice. Well, there's your shout-out, Custom RC Mods. I will definitely go ahead and subscribe to you. As for inexpensive upgrades, ooh, well, right off the bat, you got the Platinum Edition slash 4x4. Get some aluminum wheel hex hubs. That's one that I have to reinstate. <laughs> get those. 
STRC makes some excellent ones. Another suggestion would be get stainless steel screws. That's one of those things that's gonna save you. If you're gonna do any kind of off-roading or go through water, those will save you. Other than that, I can't really think of anything. But yeah, that would definitely be a good start. Oh yeah, and of course, RPM A-arms and all of that good stuff. RPM, uh, yeah. The A-arms as well. No, you know what, just the A-arms. <laughs> Nerf Craft asks, is blue your favorite color? You have so many blue RCs and want a blue in white car. I do like blue. I like royal blue. And since the anodized aluminum parts are that deep royal blue, it's hard to avoid. <laughs> I like it. I do like red just as much, but I don't know. It's just, you can only get so many different colors in the aluminum anodized parts. And if you look around, you can find numerous colors, but blue and red is easily the most available. And by far, by a landslide, the cheapest one to obtain is blue. He also asked, can you do some run videos of Jester and Nexus? I can do Jester and Nexus. Like I was mentioning, I wanted to go ahead and do another one of Demon because I haven't shown off completely his new system, which is the new ESC, which has a higher four pole motor and all that. And I wanted to do Banshee. Jester is definitely on the to-do list. And yes, I can do Nexus too, because I haven't ran her for a while. Kyle McCarthy says, hey mate, how is the progress on Joker and what's his theme colors? Theme colors is gonna be red and black, just like Chaos, the big one. As for progress, at this point, I really need to go ahead and get the chassis and all the gears and moving components. That's the biggest thing that's killing me right now. All the other parts, like the A-arms and the guards, I have all that stuff. It's just, I need to get the moving parts and the chassis. Not to mention, I need to get the electronics still. So, eh, there's a good fair amount of stuff I still need. Freddy the Gamer was wondering what techno music I use in the RC mini movie when Creature gets her castle brushless system. I can't think of it, so uh, I won't answer it on the video, but I'll display the answer here because, yeah, I'll look that up later. <laughs> All right, guys, so last week I ended up asking you which RC do you want to see an upgrade done for because I have the $15 that I got from Patreon from last month. Thanks again, guys, for those donations. And the majority of you did say Demon. So Demon will be getting the next upgrade. And at this point, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the sealed diff because that is an upgrade I haven't done on any of these RCs for at least a two wheel drive. I have done it for Jester, but Jester is a four by four. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to look around and if you guys have any suggestions for a sealed diff, let me know in the comments. Other than that, guys, I'm done. So I will be seeing you next week. Keep our scene, keep having fun, and yeah, stay out of trouble. Well, as much as you can. <laughs>